Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. We're going to talk about the proper angle that a horse's hoof can be. You can do this at yourself. Uh, yourself. You can use an ink pan, a tongue depressor, a popsicle stick. I'm just using a little piece of cut off board. What you want is, is you have, you have your fetlock joint. This is your fetlock joint. A lot of people call it the ankle bone. Then you have the pastern bone. Then you have the coronary band where the hair stops. Then you have the horse's hoof. Now, all you want to do is, is you're going to stand off to the side of your horse about 10 or 15 feet and you're going to see what that angle is. You want this to be one straight angle all the way down from this joint to the ground. What I mean by that is when you put a board on there or a stick, it should be just like this. It should be straight. See how nice and even that is? Now if a horse is too low, the board would actually be like this from the fetlock joint to the coronary band would be at a steeper angle. Here's what I'm talking about right here. Okay? If, if, my, if the cuff of my shirt is the coronary band on this horse, and my hand is the hoof, and my elbow is the fetlock joint, you want this all to be one angle. If the horse has too long of a toes and too short of a heels, it'll look like this. You'll have this sharp angle of bone and hair and then the hoof will look lower. Almost like if you just stick something under the heel, it'll lift it up. Or you can have the other way, where the, where the uh, fetlock joint's here, the coronary band is right here, this little pastern bone, and the hoof has too tall of a heel, too short of a toe, and the horse is standing up like a ballerina. This is how you tell the perfect angle of the horse. It doesn't matter whether it's a zebra, a draft horse, a miniature horse, a donkey, a mule, an Arab, uh, a quarter horse, a paint, palomino, you name it, this applies. Now, the angles on the front feet are, are a separate angle. The angles on the back of a horse are a separate angle. And this applies to each horse. Now, if you were to uh, use a hoof gauge or some type of a tape measure, to get a horse's hooves at this proper angle might mean that every single horse that you have at your place or at your barn or stables or ranch might have their own block of wood. There is no such thing as one angle for every horse. Every horse is different. That's what you have to remember about this. Okay? The other thing I want you to realize is, is that a horse does sleep standing up. So the angle of the horse's hoofs is important. We got a lot of wind right now at the ranch. Horses don't like wind. The horse is a little antsy. But you can still check it. You really need to be on concrete. You don't really want to be on gravel or sand or rubber mats or carpet or grass because you don't get that hard matter of fact the way the horse is standing. You can do it on hard packed dirt and it's all about how uh, firm the surface is for the horse. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.